Uh, okay, you're going to talk about General Miller. Yeah. Right. Okay. I just want to say that uh, General Scott Miller, who's coming coming in to take command of the Maneuver Center, the, the Army could not have picked a better leader uh, to to uh, um, to lead the Fort Benning and, and, and the Maneuver Center. Scott Miller has has the, the, I think the, the most the greatest diversity in combat experience of, of any officer I know, uh, and, and and peacetime experience as well. He has served in all kinds of army formations. Uh, he was a, a mechanized infantry uh, company commander in, in Korea. Uh, he has a broad range of experience in our Ranger Regiment. Uh, he led soldiers with great distinction uh, in, in the very difficult Battle of Mogadishu uh, over 20 years ago. He, uh, he, and he has served with great distinction uh, in both Iraq and in Afghanistan. And he's accomplished things as a leader that I think are unprecedented in, in, uh, in our Army's uh, history. What he, what he was able to organize uh, with special forces in, in uh, Afghanistan, with, with our uh, special forces teams forming Afghan local police and, and, and isolating uh, the Taliban enemy from populations. Uh, something like that has, has never been done uh, on that kind of a scale. And then, and then what he has done in, in commanding all coalition special operations forces uh, in Afghanistan is, is tremendous. So he is, he, is the, he is the most accomplished and, and talented soldier I know, and, and he is going to bring the Maneuver Center and, and Fort Bay to the next level. This is also marks a change in this. This is the first, first special, is it special forces or special operations CG we've had here, correct? Right, right, yes. That, so that is a change, right? It is, but you know, but you know, but you know, when you're, when you're, they call you a general for a reason, right? Because you're supposed to, <laughs> you're supposed to have some general confidence, <laughs> not just specific ones, you know? And so, and so, uh, there's nobody who has a broader range of experience. And so, our special forces, for example, they don't operate, you know, uh, on their own. I mean, they're operating connected with what are, what our what are all of our army forces are doing, and what our joint force is doing in uh, in both Iraq and in Afghanistan. So, in terms of, of uh, professional knowledge that can be applied to our key key, area, key areas of leader development and education, training, doctrine, and combat developments, there's nobody there's nobody better than uh, than Scott Miller to do that.